Hi guys, I am back to do my second soap here. And don't really have a plan for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and mix in my powders here. It's the goat milk and the kaolin. And I did try one teaspoon of oatmeal in this one. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Those are in. So let's try our lye water. So the scent for this one is a little bit of Kentish rain and a couple of pieces of fruity ones I have left over. So this is a one-off. It doesn't. It won't be repeated. I don't think. Okay. Oh, I forgot my coconut milk. So while that's microwaving, I'll show you the coconut milk. Looks like sour cream. It thickens when it gets cold. That's why I have a problem with it in the refrigerator. Now this is my milk of choice. It does a little bit better than cream and a little bit better than goat milk to make bubbles and to add slip. It's a wonderful milk. So guess what? I had to microwave it. Not happy. So I suppose it's not a tragedy, but you know, it's just a little inconvenient, especially since I forgot it this time. But at least it's warm, so it won't shock the batter. Okay. Um. Oh, I should probably should scent it first, huh? <laughs> almost full water on this one because I know that it's a mover. The Kentish Rain is a mover, so I didn't. It's got a couple other ones in there that don't move as fast, so maybe it'll slow it down some, but I doubt it. Okay. So one thing about doing one-off soaps that I like is that since it's not a plan, you kind of surprise yourself, at least for me. I think I'll just do a base color with a few little swirls. So, don't need a whole lot. And this is warm already. I don't know if it's from because I'm soaping warmer or if it was the fragrance oil or the milk. Um, hmm. I think I'll do a purple base. I will do some pink and blue and white swirls. That's what we'll do. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, this is starting to thicken up already. But we'll get the color mostly mixed in and then we'll do a stick blend because I want it to stay thin. As thin as possible anyway. Nope. That one will be okay. Be okay. I actually go a little more blue. There we go. And then we'll give the TD a good stick line because that's hard to incorporate without a blender.
Okay, let's give it a go. Call this one yet? It's Kentish Rain, black raspberry vanilla, and an apple. This might actually be similar to the appleberry core that I did that was supposed to be a one off color. I want it to be quite dark. Okay. Hi, Destiny. It's okay. Come on in. You're just in time to watch me pour the soap. Okay, hurry up. I don't know yet. It's just kind of a mix of different fragrances. Hi. Come on in, Gabby. My feet are wet. That's okay. Okay, you guys be quiet though because I'm taking this up, okay? Shh. Okay. So this got quite thick. So I think what we'll do is we'll do the good old spoon drop and just kind of pour it in there. Guess I can back that up a little bit, huh? Can't really see that now. Okay, let me readjust the camera again. Okay, that's better. Now, I don't know if the screen is gonna be okay or not. It seems like it's really um, blurry. And I don't know if it's the camera or if it's just the screen for me handling it. Hopefully it's the screen because I just got the phone. So if the camera is feeling already, it's not going to be happiness. Horizon's not going to like me very much. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just do the old plop and glop. Like I said, I knew this one was a mover and even though I used almost full water, it still moved quite a bit. So I'll get that spread around, then we'll throw, put a hanger through it. Let's spread it around so it gets to the edges. Okay. And pour the white, since the white still seems like it's fairly pourable. my hanger. Oh. My tools just keep just keep escaping me today. Okay. Now I know that some people think that a hanger swirl has to be done when the soap is thin, but I don't agree with that. I think that if you do it thick, it's just fine. It's very similar to doing a spoon swirl. So, okay, so that's the body of the soap. I'm 
Let's do the top. More purple. More pink. Now I wish I was wearing my gloves. It's not normal for me to forget my gloves. Although I usually end up taking them off about halfway through. But you should always take the precaution of using your gloves because soap is caustic. It can eat through your skin. I have had soap burns. They're not pretty. And they're not fun. And especially if you're diabetic, which I'm not. But if I were, that would be bad. Okay. So I'm like not even disappointed that this one had thickened up. I kind of knew it was going to do that. I thought I might have a little bit more time, but oh well, all is well that ends well, right? Oh, wait, where's my spoons over there? Let's get this swirled in here. Okay, so let's take the white. Although I guess I won't lie, it's always nice if your soap stays a little bit thinner and easier to work with, but that's all right. I don't mind on this one, I knew it could happen, so. We just work with what we got with. We just work with what we got with. We just work with what we have. Okay. okay. That skill right there, layering your tops. this will be a really textured top. It's been a long time since I've had a really textured top, so that will be fine. So what's the one thing that you can always fix yourself with? Glitter. Glitter, glitter. Okay. So that's that one. It doesn't have a name yet, but it's apple cinnamon-ish, not really cinnamony, just kind of spiciest. Not even really spicy, it's just kind of apple-y, berry, and freshness. It's kind of perfumey, kind of berry-ish, so we'll give that one a name later. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.